Welcome to Module 3, 3 options for FortiGate firewalls configuration and management. In this section we are going to talk about using the Forti Explorer option. So Forti Explorer for iOS is compatible with iPhone and iPad and supports configuration via RESTful API interface and that is a RESTful application programming interface and it will display the FortiView and other security fabric components. You can use like the Forti Explorer for iOS to perform most of the Forti operating system configuration management tasks. Advanced features on the other side will be available with the purchase of an add-on through the App Store, the Apple App Store. Well, these paid features include adding more than two devices and downloading firmware images from, uh, from FortiCare. Now, using the Forti Explorer and connecting to a FortiGate, how is this done? The connection is done to FortiGate's USB management port. So it has a port, a USB port, and you'll just take the cable that you charge and transfer photos and information from your iPhone and iPad and connect it directly to the appliance. You then open the Forti Explorer app that you have downloaded from the App Store and select your appliance from the list. In terms of how to add an appliance in your, in your Forti Explorer application, when you have to complete the fields on the host, you would complete like you'll write a USB and username and password are per configuration. What does this mean? It means that if it's a brand new appliance, if we've seen up to this point that the username is admin and then no password. And if you have uh, past this step and it's uh, an appliance that you've been using and set up any username and password then you will use those obviously. Well the result is a GUI that it, uh, it will be displayed in Fort Explorer for, for iOS and this is basically how it looks. So we see in the first place that we are connected to a FortiGate, in this case FortiGate 100, 100D and in the left side we see that uh, we have in this case the device status menu selected and we see what's the version is running and if any information that you, you may find useful at some point like CPU, memory, disks, sessions that is running, any licenses and the security fabric in this case disabled. So take a look here on the left side we have available from, uh, from the Forti Explorer application we have configuration, firmware in the network, we can go to configure the interfaces like we did for, for example, uh, admin access on the HTTP or maybe we want to enable SSH and Telnet as we will see in the next uh, sections for remote access from, from distance, from, so not locally. Again, continuing the, the menu, for the view, we can take a look at sources, destinations and applications enable and set some, some of the possibilities uh, of the security fabric and lastly policy and objects so policy and objects that we have configured for allowing traffic from the inside going to the outside this will be the place where you configure your, um, your policy so again so again on the left side you have all the possibilities that are available for you to configure from the iOS 40 Explorer application.